Tatiana Grishuk and Yevgeny Platov, the reigning Olympic and two-time world champions. Prestigious titles, but they are still relatively unknown. Even less known are newcomers Angelika Krylova and Oleg Avsyanikov, who finished fifth at last year's Worlds. But these Russians share much more than just a quest to make a name for themselves. In 1994, the two teams left behind all that was familiar when they moved to America to train at the University of Delaware with their legendary coaches Natalia Linichuk and Gennady Karpinosov. Here, these Russians enjoy a quality of life previously unknown to them. Two years, three years ago, that we can we came to the United States and live here, have a great life, have a great uh, practice in here, and uh, the university give us free houses and we can buy nice cars. Where are you going? We're going to um, Christiana Mall. Whatever we need, whatever you want to go to the shopping mall to get something, whatever we want to get. This has surprised us because we didn't even think about we can get this life like we have now. Here we don't have any problem about food or, you know, dangerous situation or something. Uh, we feel like we're free here. Totally different than being in Russia because, uh, for example, if uh, Evgeny uh, will get his uh, Lexus in Moscow, the mafia immediately will come to his home and just I took already, his car and did. took one his second. own money. And just one second. I don't know. It, it will be great if they won't kill him. But the benefits of this new American life have not come without sacrifice. When I first came here, I'm just first time. I'm so excited when I hear when I'm here. You know, it's everything different. It's life. It's different, and um, I don't know. Just after I think one month, I'm homesick so bad, and um, until I don't know about five six months, I feel not so good. It's difficult. Um, I stay here and. My wife stayed there and we don't have any chance for like stay together because it's so difficult now in divorce so kind of different uh, and other bad points we have too. So far from home, these four individuals <laughs> learn to come together as one family to reach their goals and ease the pain of their homesickness. <laughs> We will stay friends for a long time, but... Play Nintendo? If we will... <laughs> Play soccer? <laughs> Go to party. <laughs> to New York. To New York. Though these skaters compete for the same titles and share the ice in both practice and competition, some might expect animosity to dominate their relationship. You, you know, if you practice the same ice and if you have uh, friends like we have, it's helped. Sometimes we, we help each other and uh, we, especially for us, our couple, we watch the house Kate Evgeny and Oksana. And though no one can be certain what the future holds for these four friends, together they'll work as hard on achieving victory as they will on maintaining their friendship. I think it's the most important to compete and stay a very good friend. We try to do this. We don't want to be separate. The bonds have strengthened through the many sacrifices that these Russian couples have made throughout the years. Nowhere is it more evident than with the couple of Oksana Grishuk and Yevgeny Platov, our current leaders. And Oksana told us that her name has been mispronounced and misspelled through the years. It is not Grishuk, but Grishuk. They're on their way to becoming household names. Doesn't this couple have the perfect Russian look? Look at those long, slender legs, very thin, and a very wild dance. A Latin program chose the music because she's like it. A Latin temperament, tempestuous, fiery, sexy, full of pizzazz. As always, she chose the music, and he's not quite yet comfortable with it.
It has been some time since Yevgeny Platov has been able to skate pain-free. Through much of 1995, he battled a knee injury, which kept him out of the European Championships and the Russian National Championships. And even with the pain, they went on to capture the 95 World Championships. Plus, he has done a lot of rehabilitation on the D, and it is much better at this point, which, along with Oksana's love of competition, may be why they have yet to turn professional, as most thought they would. Look at how he gets her up there without raising his arms above his shoulder. After he's lifted her, he can raise his arms in any way that he likes. There's a rather frantic quality in their skating. The moves clearly delineated and very sharp and also very flexible. This is the essence of her, right there. And living in the United States doesn't seem to have cramped her style. Certainly has allowed for even more freedom of expression from Oksana Grishuk. is a little bit sloppy. It's, remember, it's early in the year and it's the first performance they've given of it. But it certainly shows the temperament that she's trying to convey. In fact, Oksana told us earlier this week that because it is brand new, she expected it to be less than polished. perfect. I think this program shows that they just haven't had much time to work on it. A little bit rough around the edges, but you get the point of what they're trying to tell you. Always expressive, always emotional, and always fun to watch. Oksana Grishuk and Yevgeny Platov of Russia, the reigning world and Olympic champions. We'll find out what the judges thought of their program when we come back. Welcome back to Sudafed Skate America International and a look at Grishuk and Platov. And look at this lift where he doesn't raise his arms above his shoulder. He's not allowed to while lifting her. There he's not lifting her so he can raise them. All of these moves are very complicated and very difficult. This doesn't happen easily. There it goes. Doesn't that tell you what the story is? This lady is a firecracker. They started the program in first place and expect to stay there as they look at their marks for technical merit. Five sevens and five eights. Those are very good marks. And um, whether or not Krilova and Avsenikov can pull up ahead of them remains to be seen. For artistic impression, even better. Five eights and five nines across the board. And now.